Hello, Trumbull High. I'm Dustin Cicada. And I'm Louis Vaz. And here's what's happening at Trumbull High. The SAD Club will be meeting today at 2.30 p.m. in the College Career Center. Attention juniors. Did you miss the Junior Post High School Planning event? It will be run on Trumbull Community Television from January 8th to the 14th at 5.30 a.m. Attention freshmen. Worried about some exams coming up next week? Need some study tips? Need help with your study guide or graphic organizer? Link Crew is sponsoring Coco and Cram study sessions on Monday, January 12th from 2.30 to 3.15 in the Senior Lounge. Bring your questions, notes, study guides, and we will supply the support and snack. Attention all Spanish club members. Feliz Año Nuevo. Our club next, next uh, meeting will be on Monday, January 12th in room C1 at 2.30. Come let off some steam and have a little fun before midterms. Now, stay tuned for a brief video concerning the unified programs that are happening at various high schools throughout the 203. All right, guys, when it comes to unified sports, Connecticut has uh, really become a leader in the whole thing. 175 schools, including 90 high schools, have teams around the state. Athletes with disabilities pair up with partners and compete in team sports. And today, athletes from the SCC hit the track at West Haven High School. Sports Edge host Erica Wachter was there. Just look at those smiles. This program is truly something special. It just makes them happy. Like, there's like no other feeling like it. And with so much happiness, it's hard to pick out the best part of it all. Some call Unified the ultimate buddy system. The bonds built through it, unbreakable. We're like Gorilla Glue, best never breaking. Others say Unified removes barriers, creating an equal playing field for these athletes. Being out on the field and just having everybody as e equal, if you're in the middle of a game, like everyone's cheering you on, they get that same feeling. But no matter how you look at it, it's clear that it's making a difference. The Special Olympics Unified Sports Program brings together students with and without intellectual disabilities, taking athletes off the sidelines and into the action, and teaching them that they can do anything they put their minds to. I had a great and I had a, lot of, I had a good time there. It was fun and it was amazing. That feeling of pure joy was evident all across the track. In Unified Sports, the strength of every player on the team is celebrated. Every competitor, a winner. It's always good because everyone feels like they're a winner at the end. So no matter what event we're doing or you know what sport, everyone feels like they win, and that's what we really go out there for. But the biggest win of all is the friendships formed, something everyone involved can treasure for a lifetime. I have learned more from the kids with disabilities than I have learned through any teacher or any regular ed kid. So I really value and cherish the relationships that I have with, with all of these guys. They're great, they're great kids to get to know and have, and have fun with. Friendship is something that lasts a lifetime. Our friendship, our teamwork is right here. Yeah. <laughs> follow yes, our hearts me. and follow yeah. our dreams. A loving truth to life and simple words that we can all learn something from. For Sports Edge, I'm Erica Wachter. The Trumbull High Unified Pro Basketball team is looking for student volunteers to help run basketball practice a few times a week in January and February. These students will get volunteer hours and will be working with the special athletes here at Trumbull High. Listen for the meeting that will be happening soon concerning this program. There will be a robotics team meeting after school Thursday in room A25 this week. And now for sports with Danny and Trevor. Banana, banana. This Friday for sports, Trumbull High School basketball will be taken on Wilton the 8th and 9th. On the 9th. Friday of January yeah. 2015. Let's talk about some hockey, dude. I think hockey's a great subject. There's a hockey match, the 10th, against Darianne in Darianne. And um, they're going to shoot and score. And You're really sweeping up this competition, you know? Come on, come pick up my dust, you know? That's what we think about the other team. Sports. Nothing. Air it, air it. Chumbo high. Cut it. Let's go. The strategy club will meet after school in room C6 on Monday, January 12th. All are welcome. The debate team is meeting today in room B13. All who are competing in Saturday's tournament at THS should attend this meeting. And now for weather with George DeFranco and Nick Marini. Welcome Trumbull High to the weather. I'm your weatherman, George DeFranco, and I'm here with my special guest, Nick. Wow, Nick, you look really bundled up for that wind. Oh, boy.
They're burning. It is chilly here in the AV room. It is outside, actually. How are you doing? I'm doing good. And wow, is he right. It is chilly outside. Jack Frost has blown that horn loud, Shh. and you can feel all that wind hitting at you. George, an Arctic freeze. What? Uh... The Eagle's Eye will hold a meeting and InDesign workshop today at 2.30 p.m. in room C25. All editors, contributors, and staff members should plan on attending. See Mr. Plegera with any questions. Thank you, Trumbull High, and have a great day.